Wow. What a difference. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another behind the scenes video. So I've got Brian again. This time I'm putting him to work and we're working on getting the speakers installed into the Elantra. So we're going to give you guys a big project update in this video, but the first step of course for a speaker installation and upgrade is removing interior parts of the vehicle. In this case, we're going to start with the door panel, and you may be wondering, how do we know exactly how to do this? Well, this is where I want to take a quick second to recommend our show sponsor, Crutchfield. On Crutchfield's website, you enter your year, make, and model, and you can see if they have a Crutchfield master sheet for your vehicle. This document has a ton of valuable information, information like the different speaker wire colors, where you can find the factory amplifier and the pinouts for the connections on the factory amplifier. And in our case here, information that we're looking for on taking apart the door panel step by step. This helps to prevent any expensive mistakes with panel damage, and it's just going to give you a lot more confidence in the process. Better yet, Crutchfield has been super cool, and they've helped out our community with a special offer that you can take advantage of to save on your next car audio purchase. You guys can learn more at the links down in the video description. So yesterday we took all the door panels off, and Brian is working on doing some sound treatment on the back side there around the speaker. And in the meantime, I've been working on making these custom 3D printed speaker adapters. I wanted to make sure that I have nice perfect fitment with the speaker into the door here so I've made a 3d model based on the original OEM speaker shape and then obviously changed the mounting hole to match our aftermarket speakers now you may be wondering why did I choose to 3d print these speaker adapters as opposed to using the off-the-shelf ones well to be honest it's because I recently got a new 3d printer and I haven't had a chance to 3d print a larger ABS part yet and I wanted to try it out with that said making our own custom adapters definitely does have some advantages. One would be that we can control the actual thickness of the adapter itself that can help us to fine tune how far the magnet is sticking into the door and potentially having a clearance issue or how close we want to actually get the speaker to the factory grill of the vehicle. With 3D printed adapters we can also fine tune and control the bolt circle that way we perfectly match up to our aftermarket speaker. I just wanted to bring this up really quick though because you don't have to use 3D printed adapters, but like most things in car audio, there are trade-offs with different installation strategies. In case you're new to the project, we're going to be using these JL Audio C2-650 CWs. So this is a component six and a half inch woofer. And you can see if I line this up in the correct orientation, you can see through all the holes there that my 3D printed heat set inserts are mounted. That's gonna give us threads for each of the machine fasteners that's going to hold the speaker to the bracket. You can also see I've applied this special speaker gasketing foam on here. I'm going to apply some to the back side of the adapter as well. And then of course, we'll get these mounted into the vehicle. Now this is the front adapter in my hand and the rear adapter is a little bit different. It's slightly smaller. We're able to still use a six and a half inch speaker, but the bolt pattern's a little bit different. So that's what I have printing on the printer right now. I don't want to open the door because this is an ABS print and you want your inside of your 3D printer enclosure to stay nice and warm for ABS. But I think you guys can get the idea. You can see it in there. Brian, what do you think of the 3D printed adapter? Oh, I love it. It looks <laughs> fantastic and it's got a really strong durability feel to it. Yeah. It's yeah. not flimsy or anything. I printed that with uh, like six interior and exterior walls. So extremely thick, very strong. It actually has a good kind of heft to it. But yeah, and being printed out of ABS, it's going to have high heat resistance in the vehicle as well. So after I carefully add each of the machine fasteners and get the speaker attached to the speaker adapter, next I want to add this foam gasket around the outside. The point of this is to do the same thing that the OEM manufacturer does on their speaker ring. This helps guide the sound perfectly through the panel. So I want to make sure that in total my thickness is about the same as the thickness as the OEM adapter here. So I've simply trimmed the height of this foam ring and then stuck it into place. And this is what it looks like once the woofer is completely mounted. We have our wiring going to our crossover using the OEM connection here. The woofer wires go through the door and they're properly secured to the OEM harness and go right to the woofer, obviously. And then the tweeter wiring goes up here and on the OEM tweeter, it has a little capacitor that acts as a high pass filter. In our case, we're obviously using the crossover as our high pass filter. So we've come straight out of that and I've added a new harness connection here. 
which then pairs up with this connector on the back side of our door panel. And don't forget, earlier in the process, we 3D printed our adapters for the tweeters as well to go in this OEM location. I got Brian learning to be a, a car audio installer, putting him to work. It's late night right now. What time we got? 11, 11 p.m. on a Friday. Working hard, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, once you get that first one, just kind of work your way up. Lift it off. There we go. He's a natural. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get it the little button thing. Yeah, I was just trying to find it. There we go. So I repeated the process on the back door, 3D printing that adapter and adding the threaded inserts and then attaching this foam ring here. Finally, we added those three screws to secure the whole assembly in place on the door. So here's what Brian came up with here. Not bad for a first timer. I told him just to focus on the area around the speaker. We're not doing a full sound treatment here. I wanna stress that because we are under the gun. We have limited time together to work together on the vehicle so again just told him to focus right here we did in case you're wondering we added a foam ring around the tweeter too to help guide the sound waves through the grill but yeah we should be good to go here let's get these installed back in the vehicle all right so we're in the elantra now so we're we're gonna do a test listen so as of right now we've installed the speakers we haven't installed the amplifier or the subwoofers so this is just literally just a speaker upgrade at this point but at least we knocked out this part of the project um let's hear how it sounds all right so unfortunately i'm going to mute the camera right here just to avoid any copyright issues but i think brian's face says it all wow what a difference <laughs> and we haven't even done the the total install yet yeah that's crazy yeah yeah literally just speaker upgrade right now and so I don't have a lot of experience in the car because it's not my car. So, I, you know, I didn't really listen to the OEM system much. But, like, what are your first reactions on the differences between OEM and just speaker upgrade? Dramatic. Absolutely really? dramatic. Really? Yeah. Uh, like, you can listen to everything good before. And because that's what's in, in the car, you don't really know how much you're missing. <laughs> yeah. Other than knowing, okay, you need a little more bass, but just this speaker upgrade as is right now, the mid bass is crazy. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. Yeah. The mid bass is pretty impactful. And I, I think a lot of that is because we took the time to like really make those, uh, the speaker adapters like super solid. And then we added those foam rings, like I was explaining to you to make sure that there's no cancellation in the door panel. Everything is guided through the grill and, uh, it definitely... <laughs> And like even without amplifier power right now, there's like a solid amount of of mid bass, and uh, it sounds good. I'm excited that the the door panels really aren't resonating either, even at full volume with like with that amount of bass. Like I, I feel like sometimes you get a little bit of vibration noise, but yeah, w even with the small amount of of sound treatment we did, like this wasn't a full out crazy build where we sound treated everything, and it's still like it did pretty good. So. I noticed right away, like it sounds, it sounds, it sounds decent, but to me right away, I'm like, this needs to be amplified because once it's amplified, I think you're going to even more be like, holy cow. And another thing too, once we add the subs, you know, the subwoofers are going to take the load of doing all the low end bass, which is going to kind of free up the, the, the mid range and the, and the front woofer speakers to do their job more in the mid bass category. So all right. Yeah. What what do you how do you feel about like the the mids and highs like the more like, you know, dynamic like yeah. high? No, they they sound so crisp and clear. Yeah. There's no issues with them at all. Like yeah. it's just crazy how clear it is. It doesn't sound like it's like breaking up. Like we I did listen to like one song that I've been enjoying lately. The song name is Black Ice by uh Subtronics and Rez if you guys want to check that out. But uh it has some really nice like crispy electronic noise type music and uh i noticed with like the factory system when we did just like a quick little test that like i said there was kind of like the breakup on the high end like it just it sounded like it was like struggling to kind of keep up 
but now yeah. it, it, the speakers just you know they can handle it it's it's head unit power so they're not like stressing at all and and uh again once we get this amplified i'm pretty stoked for this for you it's i think it's gonna sound really good yeah i'm completely excited right now i cannot stress it enough with an aftermarket speaker installed the installation techniques that you use are absolutely critical in order to get the best performance if you're interested in a more in-depth explanation of these techniques and you want to see how they were used with an off-the-shelf speaker adapter definitely check out the related video here on my channel don't forget that you can get a master sheet detailing how to take apart your vehicle from our show sponsor crutchfield and you can get a special offer and save on your next car audio purchase at the links down in the video description. A big thanks to them along with Jerry and the rest of the Patreon membership team and to you guys for making these videos possible.